Oftentimes when people hear the kingdom of heaven, they think it's whatever version or vision in their mind they have of what heaven will be like. And so often we think of the kingdom, therefore, as a future reality. It's this thing that I will experience someday in the future. But Jesus comes announcing the kingdom not as a future reality, not as some vision of of some celestial city in the sky that we think of as heaven. He comes proclaiming the kingdom as a present reality. It's a reality that's here and now. It's a reality that he's bringing. There's two kingdoms at war constantly. There's the kingdom of this world and there's the kingdom of heaven or the kingdom of God. Both or a current, present reality. So the kingdom is a present reality, and scholars and theologians oftentimes define the kingdom as the rule and reign of God. Another way to understand what the kingdom is, it's simply the rule and reign of God. Jesus comes in his ministry trying to demonstrate what the world would and should look like if God truly was the one in charge. Now, we believe that God truly is the one in charge. It's not an if statement. But God also gives us freedom to choose whether we submit to him or not. And so Jesus comes proclaiming the reality of the kingdom. This is what life would look like if everyone recognized and acknowledged and surrendered to Jesus being the true king. Now, these words, kingdom, rule, and reign are are monarchy sort of terms, right? We we don't live in a monarchy. We live in a democracy. So even still, it's like, what does that mean? What does it mean that the kingdom is Jesus' rule and reign in the world? Another way to think of it is just simply the kingdom of God is God's authority and leadership in our world. Those are words that we probably have a little bit more grasp of and become a little bit more accessible to us. The kingdom of God is simply God's authority and leadership in the world. And so the question is, are we submitting to that authority? Are we following his leadership? You could also say it this way. The kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven, is simply the word works and ways of Jesus. If I were to take hold of his words, embrace his works, and follow his ways, when Jesus talks about the kingdom, my life would reflect what he talks about if I simply followed his word, works, and ways. If I fully surrendered myself to his authority and followed his leadership, when Jesus talks about the kingdom, my life would reflect that. 